Okay, the next step for me is to take this piece of plywood, it's just a scrap I had laying here, and I'm going to screw it to this. Okay, and I'm confident in doing that because if I were to take this, again, dial caliper, it's a very important tool, and I set it right on that mark, right? And then I go right to that line, see that? It's right on the money, okay? I know that these are both set, okay? So if this side, this distance is set to the string, this distance is set to the string, which is five and three quarter, half the distance required. Um, remember, we're going to center. I can take this piece of plywood, okay? Let me just set that up. Um, I can use those Nibco two hole straps, strap this up. All that's really going to do is keep this side and this side equidistant from each other. So I know that if I have to heat up anything and adjust, the whole thing will kind of move together. Okay, but as it sits right now, I mean, I could cut this and probably just put my motor mount up and weld it. And I could probably check it with some measurements and, and it'd probably be fine. So this is just a safety precaution. It's going to kind of help me out. Um, you may not like that idea. That might be something that does not work for you. And then there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to find your own groove. You got to find your own rhythm to doing this stuff. Um, I'm just not a believer in spending months trying to build jigs. I just looked around. I had some plywood. So that's what I used. I shoved it in there. Um, so we're, we're just about to the two week mark on this fuselage. I'm almost at 20 hours, so, uh, boy, it'd be interesting to see if I could hit the 20 hour mark. That'd be, a, I think, pretty decent time for the fuselage. It's pretty simple, nothing real complicated, but 20 hours would be, uh, I think, a pretty reasonable number to hit.